And let me share the screen. Uh, for your information, uh, I have uploaded the the textbook uh, so that you can do a pre-reading before class. So you can uh, you can go and see the course outline, uh, and then uh, you can see the the, the plan in terms of the topics that we'll be discussing across uh, the weeks until the end of the semester. And then uh, read that particular topic if you want, right, before you enter the discussion. So you don't have to wait until I upload my slide because I might change some of my slides according to, you know, uh, different class, right? So that usually uh, my practice is that after I finish the class, then I only upload for the slide for that, that, um, that uh, particular lecture, right? So, but you can, but you can always do your own reading uh, by reading the textbook. Uh, I, I think I asked you to find the textbook. I think you, some of you have the difficulty in terms of uh, looking to find the soft copy of the book. So never mind. Uh, I'm not. Although I'm not supposed to share the the hard copy of the textbook. I think I hope you can use. Uh, uh, just for 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 your own use, so don't disseminate the the copy to others, right? Uh, just use for the sake of uh, this class, right? And do we have a uh, uh, Amira with you? Amira, Amira, uh, like Amira, because we want to discuss about the arrangement for next week. Okay, okay, yes. Ah, yeah. So Amira, uh, because you mentioned that you will be working until you arrive home around six, yeah. Although during Ramadan. Yes, but no, during Ramadan, uh, my office hour will be eight thirty until four thirty. Okay, so that then that will be good. Meaning that can we, uh, because this, uh, uh because uh, the 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 thing is that now Amira. Uh, the mm -hmm. school is asking whether we should go for physical class by 1st April. But I think it's not that convenient for, 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 for you especially because you have to commute, right? You have to commute from your home, uh, from, from your workplace. And then you, if you have to attend a physical class, you have to go to Gomba. Where is your office, by the way? In KL, right? Yes, Ampang. Oh, Ampang. Uh, yeah, so it's quite... Then you then you can patah balik and then balik to your house, right? So in that in that case, how about if I suggest that if we still keep the online uh, mode during the Ramadan, but I perhaps, agree. sorry, I agree because uh, I still can uh, watch the recording. Yeah. So uh. so I think for for because uh, uh, because of the Ramadan, the Ramadan time. So that's why I think we can uh, perhaps if you want to start class a bit earlier because I think you finish at 4.30, right? What time you will arrive home usually? What time can we start the class? When I arrive home, maybe at 5 or 5.30, something like that. Okay. How about uh, how about we... Because uh, if, if it will be nice if we can finish before breakfast, right? Before uh, yeah. Maghrib, Maghrib time. So let's say Maghrib time is 7.30 now. Uh-huh. Uh, 7.30 now, we need to start at uh, 5, right? Oh, if but I can... suggest that, uh, Doctor, mm. you, uh, maybe you can start early and after I'm finished working, I can join you. And if, oh, okay. I, uh, if anything I don't understand, I can refer to the recording and also I'm going to reach you as well okay that, that will be yeah that will be nice of you all right so let's say we if we can start at five and then we finish uh just nice before maghrib time right so that we don't have to continue class after maghrib time because i'm sure that everyone want to focus on prayers and and oh, yeah and then after food and everything it's not nice to listen to people talking right and especially me, who will need to talk a lot after food. So, <laughs> so yeah. Hopefully, we can we can we can agree with that. Everyone, anyone have an objection? Please raise your hand. If we can start at five uh, from next week, okay. 
Mr. Oka, sir. Okay, all right. So we start at five, and then we fin we try to finish around seven thirty so that we have we have time to to break fast. All right. So if you need to buy any foods, or maybe you can do before five before we start the class. All right. Okay. All right. Let's let's. Uh, if anyone okay with that, uh, Sundus, are you okay? Are you okay with that uh, arrangement for you? It is okay. All right. So I, I think if you're staying in the campus uh, in Mahala, things shouldn't be uh, that uh, problem, right? Because the food is everywhere. Right? Even you can get a free food from the mosque as well. I think they do that. They do have that. Okay, let, let's just finish what we, because we need to a bit go a bit fast. Uh, okay, right. So let's quickly take a look uh, about how this a uh, form of currency has been evolved, evolved around, I mean, for the past of, uh, you know, decades since we have decided to move or to depart from the butter system, right? And uh, the first medium that we use is the commodity money, right? We have, uh, like, uh, usually this uh, basically the item that we consume, right? Do people consume within the community? People use barley, people use rice, uh, and, and, and other uh, kind of uh, consumption goods, right? Because of the, the one fact is that they all have the value, right? So that's the key here. The, the commodity needs to have a value to be taken as a currency, right? So as a medium of exchange by the people who live in the community, right? After we have looked at or we have discussed uh, about the characteristic of this commodity money, right? We can come come up with or we can agree with that they all have these common features or common characteristic, right? I I really stressed this out earlier, right? They need to be universally accepted, right? Commonly accepted by the people who use or the community who use that kind or that type of commodity money, right? So that's one thing, right? And it has to be standardized to a certain extent in terms of the quality and quantity, right? Uh, this is why the reason a prophet, uh, our prophet was be very careful in terms of uh, this kind of commodity uh, that has been used for exchange, right? In in the in the hadith, when when prophet say that uh, certain commodity, uh, sorry, let me just accept uh, Mahmud again. Like for let's say uh, I I don't remember the 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 exact hadith, right? Maybe uh, Bailo can can read the the hadith for 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 us. Uh, the, there are certain commodities, right? If you want to exchange, it has to be exchanged hand by hand. And at the spontaneous, right? At the at the present time, right? Because of Prophet was being very careful in terms of whether this will the exchange will lead to justice or it can lead to uh, uh, some unfair uh, dealing, right? Trading, right? Because you you I mean you can argue that certain items or certain commodity item is very difficult to be standardized, right? Uh, even in if, even uh, let's uh, Let's, what is the main commodity for our country? I will say we have uh, rice, for example, right? There are so many types of rice out there, right? Sometimes I get confused, right? If my mom asked me to buy that kind of rice and then one day I just brought home a different type of rice, then I got scolded, right? So, so because I, because we don't know, there are a lot of uh, type of uh, rice uh, out there. So it's very difficult for you to come up with a standardized in terms of the quality and the quantity, right? So imagine if you still need to, you know, do the this commodity exchange, right, in order for you to do the business activity, right? Hence, you need to be, you know, there, there, you need to come up with different uh, 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 like different uh, exchange uh, price or exchange value like like in this discussion about the price tag in the in the butter system right is very difficult right uh, and then uh, it has to be durable although you have to be you can argue this as well right 
uh, when you use barley or you use uh, wheat and so on and the likes, uh, they are not uh, they are very perishable, right? So so you have to incur some of the uh, storing costs, right? and and then you can argue that it is very difficult for you to bring from one place to another place, right? Perhaps that's the reason people change or people move from. Uh, community money to a precious metal, right? Like gold, silver. Although gold and silver also, you can argue that although they are highly or more durable than commodity uh, like wheat and so on, but you still need to have uh, uh, a certain, you know, you need to incur some cost in terms of to 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 save guide or to save keeping those uh, uh, commodity precious money. Metal, right? So that's why I think people, uh, if if you are invest in gold, I'm not sure with uh, any of you have uh, buy goals, physical goals, right? Because uh, you can have a two option: whether you want to have or you want to buy the gold bar. You know the gold bar, right? Uh, they have they have a name of it. I'm not. Sure. I, I don't remember uh, quite clearly, right? The name. Let's say you can invest in a gold bar, or you can buy. Um, Usually, uh, women uh, do this, right? They buy the, the 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 necklace or the rings, and, and then they give the excuse and tell the husband, "This is for our investment, right?" This is what my my wife did uh, anyway. Right? This is for the sake of our own, right? I mean, this is our investment, so called as investment, right? But you will realize that uh, if you if you compare the price of uh, uh, the gold bar and the uh, and the what you call as the, the necklace and the rings, uh, you will see that the price of the gold bar is slightly higher than those uh, necklaces and uh, and rings or or bracelet or whatever, right? Because of because of people have this kind of uh, view or, or or perception that because of this uh, necklace uh, bo- uh, bracelet it has been daily use, right? So it. it of it can it can I mean, although I think it exposed to some, uh, you know it can be scratched right. Then then you 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 know that the value is slightly less if you have a gold bar. So, so that's why some some of the gold uh, uh, investment manager will actually uh, encourage you to buy a gold bar. Right? It has a it has a more stable value. Uh, in case if you want to 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 what to uh liquidate letter and then transfer it to to cash right yeah uh was that monira yeah uh, yeah i think it's related to the purity of the gold yeah it, the, the purity as well right but you have you have some necklace that is a 99.9 uh purity as well so yeah and and the gold bar have that level of purity as well right but it just like uh, what I'm trying to say is that is that uh, people have a different uh, view in terms of the form of the the, the the goal, right? So it's up to you, right? your, your your preference. What is your preference, right? But uh, but I think from in our religion, then then different form of goal subject to different uh, treatment, right? So I think for for I think if I'm not mistaken, if you buy a gold and you use it for sometimes quantity, then you don't have to pay zakat, right? But if you keep a uh, uh, gold in the bar, bar in the form of bar gold, bar, bar or what you call it, the bar or something, then you have to pay uh, tax uh, the the zakat, right? So it has. That's why what I'm trying to say that it has a different uh, preference among people, and hence. The value will be slightly different, right? Uh, and then, uh, yeah. So the issue was transportable is very uh, peculiar during those times, right? Because you can imagine, right? Those people at that time, they are traders. They are what we call as they 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 travel across uh, um, country, right, to bring their item to trade. To other na- with other nation or other people in other place, right? So if they were to bring this kind of Bali and wheat, you know, to to as a as a medium of exchange, of course, it's not it's not uh, effective, right? Because they have to they have to ensure that it's in a good uh, conditions, right? Uh, uh, and then 
uh, if you want to bring gold, that that kind of problem as well, right? Because they are heavy, right? So that's that's that is a not a nice thing to do as well, right? So then people are start to thinking about, you know, moving from other forms of uh, asset as well, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, Mahmoud, you were saying something? No. No. All right. Okay. So, and then the last uh, characteristic of a currency of money is, is that the ability of that money to be uh, divided into many small, small units, right? So let's say uh, something, something that we are we take for granted, right? Uh, let's say you have you want uh, every day that I mean you if you go to office then or you go to any sh shopping mall right you need to pay the the fee for the parking right the car parking fees right and then the the, the beauty about the currency that we have now if is that it it can be divided into small units uh, of change right. So, so can you imagine if we are still using other form of uh, uh, currency like commodity money, uh, commodity commodities or precious metal? How can you instantaneously, you know, divide the the, the value into small units of change? Right, it's not possible, right? But by having the currency we're having we're having now, let's say if I put, let's say if let's say if the fees is only two ringgit, right? to ring in and then uh, I only have a 50 with me, right? Some of the machine don't even accept 50 because they don't have the change, right? But let's say if I only have 50, right? So by 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 uh, paying the 50 with 50 notes, the, that um, notes can be, you know, uh, instantaneously uh, divided into small units and then I can get the change immediately, right? But if we were to do that in other co uh, other form of currency like commodity money, I think it would be kind of a bit difficult, right, to get the the, the change, right. So if we if we have that ability to to if the money have the ability to be di divided into small uh, units and pieces, right. So you can imagine that what we will have, what effect that it will have to the amount of trade and transaction every day, right. You can do a lot of. Uh, uh, transaction now, right? Uh, what more if you have a platform like a digital platform, right? You don't even need a physical money with you, right? So you can just uh, deduct from your account. Let's say, for example, if you use a Shopee, right? I'm not sure whether you are you are aware of. I mean, you are a user of this uh, Shopee, but uh, I uh, by accident become a user of uh, the Shopee because of uh, my wife, right? Because my wife, uh, she said she, she uh, it's not enough with one account, so she need to use my phone to to uh, open another account so that she can use two account, right? So now, by the by 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 accident, I have a Shopee account with at my with my with me and my phone, right? So with the Shopee account, it will be easier for you, right? So if let's say if you want if you're interested to buy any item in the Shopee. So you can pay or you can debit your uh, account, your Shopee account with certain amount of money. Let's say you put 100 or 20 or, or 200 there, right? So you can use that amount anytime, right? So if, if you think again, then it become like a, a deposit account for you, right? It works the same as a deposit, uh, as a bank deposit account, if you think in that, that sense, right? It just like you can use it for purchase of uh, goods and item in the Shopee, right? So let me ask this: What what is your opinion? If if after you you looking at these five characteristic of money, right, that require you to uh, to be uh, uh, as as a currency, right? Do you think that is still relevant, right? Let's say let me ask Bailo, right? Let's say Bailo, you you are innovator, right? Let's say one day like you you are you are a very rich person now, right? So you can buy the whole nation, for example, right? So let's say if you are you were introduced to one new form of currency, right? Uh, not not Bitcoin, not uh, gold money or fiat money, but you want to introduce a new type of money in the markets, right? So let me ask you this: whether you think that these five characteristics 
are still needed now in the economy or not, right? What 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 do you think about that? Or you think that some of the characteristic is not applicable nowadays? Do you still think? I think do you, that, yeah, yeah. I on. think it's applicable because these uh, these uh, characteristics are really like important and they are durable. Okay, right. So let's say let's say if 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 uh, so why do you think that 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 the currency that your your new currency that you want to introduce have to be durable? Be is it because of the, uh, the 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 linkage to the to the value, or you have another reason for for having it or requiring it to be a durable? Yeah, because if it's uh, durable, it uh, like people will will trust it. And uh, okay, uh, okay, good. So again, it come with the trust, right? So if if something that is not durable, something that it can lose its uh, presence, right? It's not is 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 uh, you 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 will say that uh, the value will you, you tend to have that idea that the value will. Diminish, right? Something is not durable will diminish the value eventually, right? You have that, 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 that idea, right? But let me ask you this: like, uh, how about how about those uh, digital currency that people are talking? You know, I don't even understand what is the, what is how does it work, right? So, do you think that this digital currency is is durable in that manner, or they have a different definition of durability? I think they have a, a different definition. Because different like definition. Those uh, cryptocurrencies, they are not trustworthy. People don't know about them. You can lose mm. like, uh, uh, like, and goes up and down. So it's not, it's not doable yeah. and it's not trustworthy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you, you, you were, you were, you were saying something. Yes, uh, I thought that uh, most importantly, these are not universally acceptable, the cryptocurrency and those things. Yeah. So it will not be acceptable. Yeah. So uh, let me respond to uh, Bailo first, right? Because Bailo mentioned that perhaps their, the definition of uh, uh, digital asset uh, in terms of durability is slightly different from the, the definition for, for the currency or the commodity money, even the previous one that we have, right? Perhaps the definition for durability uh, uh, for digital currency is about the security of the assets, right? How can you ensure that this, the security of this digital asset is well uh, or safely kept within the, the, the use, right? So, so uh, in the in the digital currency, if I'm not mistaken, they have this issue of double counting or double spending. They call, not double counting. Sorry, is a they they have the issue of double spending, right? Because they use this uh, system like blockchain system. So how they can ensure that that let's say if if I own this uh, certain value of uh, blockchain money, right? Blockchain money. Then uh, I and then I don't of course I don't I don't see the physical blockchain right no nobody have that 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 that, that opportunity yet to see the physical or, or we will never see the the, the physical uh, presence of these blockchains anyway right so how can you ensure that through your system right through this this blockchain system that your money will not be used by others right you will not you will not have this kind of double spending issue right so that if so that if later when if i want to convert this blockchain again to the cash or the currency the, the conventional currency that we have i will have that ability right otherwise again uh, like bailo said i will lose the trust right because you don't you don't provide me with this, this kind of security so that's why people who the community of these blockchains they because they understand the nature of this uh, blockchain system, so they are able to appreciate the the security, right? I mean, the, I mean, they 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 are very well understood about the the level of security of that blockchain system. But if you ask uh, people like me, right, uh, who don't, who, are, who don't have a knowledge about about uh, uh, this blockchain or whatever, 
I I will not be able to 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 have that that level of confidence that that my money will be safe uh, if I convert the cash that I have now to to blockchain right block, block, uh, sorry not blockchain uh Bitcoin right so that's the that's, so that's the issue right so if if I I mean if we can argue that in whatever form of money that will come after blockchain or whatever form let's say in the future maybe we have uh, 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 other uh, form of money I, I don't know I don't know how maybe a virtual money or I, I don't know you cannot imagine right what's what is going on next right so we still we, we can argue that they still need this kind of characteristic right perhaps in the, in the different uh, or nature or different definitions but like uh, Nia said it has to be well accepted by the people or the user right to be able to carry some value and then people can do a transaction right so I hope you are able to you know to pay uh, I mean to, to understand the, this kind of uh, requirement for or for any any item to be deemed as a currency, right? Uh, uh, and then after um, commodity, I, I remember I, I mentioned earlier, right? in terms of the transportability, right? How you can carry a bunch of gold with you when you want to go to trade to other places. It's not, it's not a um, nice thing to do, right? And then people move now. Now the idea of uh, paper bag. Uh, uh, money, right? This this fiat money, right? And then uh, it was or, or it's something that related to the war as well. I think in the first class, some of you asked like, how? I mean, why people move from uh, currency? Uh, sorry, from commodity or gold to fiat? Right? I think one of you asked that kind of question, and then I think I explained from the perspective of for, of these traders right because they need to carry uh, something that is light with them so that they can do is very much convenient rather than bring up gold and everything uh, i think i explained that to you and then another factor that i forgot to mention to you is that at that time there was a world war right and then because of this country has spent a lot on the on the war right between country at that time so they are losing their gold reserve right so they this country are desperately need more resources right to fund them to win the war at that time right so then they come up with idea because some country are losing their gold reserve and one so they come with the, with because they have to pay for the for for their military expenses as well right they need they need those weapon and then and then the, the army as well right so they hence they come up with this idea i think you can you can read about the breton wood i don't know how to spell it's a place right? breton wood agreement right so that, that that's that, that he, then they come up with the idea what if we detach the, the the currency we come up with the new definition of currency that that totally detach from the gold reserve of the country right so that so that the government can you know can can keep producing or printing the money to cover the expenses right at that time at that time is still work the, the idea is still I mean, it's brilliant at that time. It works fine, right? Until you, until certain country try to adopt the same letter when 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 the war war, war finished, you see that the country like uh, in the Africa, they, they keep printing the money, right? So and then they don't realize that by keep printing this money, it loses the value, right? Later on, I think uh, just now Bailo was asking about the definition of in, in for inflation, right? So we will see the how the how the cons, the concept of the inflation relate with the supply of money in the markets, right? And then how it re, how the supply relates to the value of the money. Right? We will explain with using the theory of uh, the quantity theory of money, right? By uh, later I will discuss you at the end. If we, I hope we have time for that. We we finish. We're supposed to finish at nine, right? So we have we still have uh, half an hour. Right, so so the government will say that uh, we'll we'll provide this kind of or we'll 
will give a designation to to that money we call it as a legal tender right so by law right anyone should accept this money so by having that law so you cannot refuse for not accepting that money right so meaning that in a way that if i can put this in 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 a simply simple words is that all people are required to use that money that we have now right the ringgit or the dollars that we have in our wallet you are required to accept that let's say if i go to uh, to buy uh, foods later on right and uh, any restaurant and then i I'll, I'll, i'll pay the food using the currency so the the shop or the 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 the, the restaurant cannot say to me that i will not accept your cash right i want other form of cash right I want for other form of uh, currency so she will not accept that right but she, she will not do that because by law she should accept my the currency right hence i can i can take the the ownership of the the goods that i purchase right so by law we are we are we are we need to abide this this law right as 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 uh, as, as citizens right Uh, and then uh, and then by because of because of is a well uh, accepted by law that people need to use the money hence we have this kind of confidence right as a user of the money or the or the currency we have that this kind of confidence that if we give or we accept the money from something so, uh, somebody else we have the opportunity to use it later right so meaning that in that sense we have that uh what we call it, we have that uh we have that confidence that 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 this money or this currency currency is able to store some value right coming relates again to the the discussion on the function of the money earlier right as a store of wealth or store of value right so this is the concept of fiat money right uh although although uh, if you want to uh, discuss from the sharia perspective it has some implication as well right because of uh because there there are two argument or the two opinion right because one opinion was saying that because of this money is does not uh, it it is not backed by any um uh, uh, gold or silver that is something not 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 valuable right so then people are questioning about the legitimacy of this fiat money right hence should we pay zakat with this fiat money right or should we pay with gold or silver well, there's a lot of this discussion or resolution that come up with this use of fiat money right uh and then some of then of course the the most uh, acceptable uh, opinion will say that this money uh, this fiat money this paper uh, back money is is basically represent our uh, wealth and 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 can represent our purchasing power right it can be used for consumption right so hence we are entitled or we are obliged to pay zakat to use um, by using this uh, paper money right fiat money right? so 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 he has a lot of debates right you always have people who not agree with the with the with the current uh, system of course right but i think you have to welcome that kind of opinion as well right? but uh, you i mean some people take it as an extreme uh, opinion right but you have to you have to first i think as a economic students right you need to understand where the argument come from right perhaps they perhaps their theory or their thinking of of are originated from from different sources right so you perhaps the you have to be open right so that's that's the that's the that's the that's the nature or the characteristic of uh, an economist right? if you want to be an economist in the future right So any any question so far you has you 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 want to clarify about, or you have any information that you would like to share about these two type of money fiat money and also commodity money or you or you have a interesting uh, commodity or money that you use in your current in your in your country for example that you can share with anyone or you you Okay so far following
Are you guys being very quiet? I'm afraid sometimes. All right. Okay. All right. So again, uh, people will not be satisfied, right? Uh, sometimes uh, now, uh, perhaps uh, let's say 10 to 20 years ago, people don't complain about bringing a lot of cash right, in their wallets, right? But now people say that uh, it's too. I cannot keep all the money with me at home, and I cannot carry it with me as well when I want to go to any places, right? So it's not that. Oh, if I want to pay uh, to somebody else, right? So people are becoming more efficient, and uh, they want to live in a simple life, right? And they want to be more, uh, you know, uh, uh, economically efficient, right? So hence the idea. Uh, come uh, about the using the check, right? He has a different uh, thing. Different country use a different uh, spelling. That is check. It's the same thing, right? So if you think again, check is just an instruction that you give to your bank, right? So let's say if you have, I think most of you know this, right? It just maybe it's just a recap, right? But oh, maybe sometimes we don't realize this as well because we don't use it anymore, right? We are the young young generation, right? So let's say if if A want to pay to make a payment to B, right? So both of them have their own bank, right? Bank A and Bank B. So one option is that this 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 uh, A can actually just turn, just withdraw the money and bring the cash to this B, right? But uh, he's afraid that in terms of the security, what if along the way that I, he got robbed or I, he lose the money, right? So, so and then perhaps the, the amount is quite kind of huge, right? A huge amount of money. So it's not that 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 wise or it's not that safe, right? So, so with the presence of banks, right, the respective banks for these uh, individuals, right? So let's A can just issue an instruction. So this is what we have seen now in the in the book check that you have, right? I don't think we have it anymore, no. uh, but uh, trust me, there are still people using that, and because I, I because my mother-in-law uh, used that uh, still now nowadays because she does not believe with this uh, online or internet banking because she always say that somebody will just you know hack the account, right? So she's very cautious about that so every so every month at the end of the month she will ask me she will give me a call and say so can you please uh, accompany me to any branches right so i have to drive her to go to the near branches that she will bring a couple of check right uh, like uh, two or three check that she need to cash out right to to the bank right so people are still using it if you think that check is is basically a piece of instruction that this customer give to, to the bank, his own bank, to make a transfer of the money to the related party, right? So then this bank, uh, sorry, this B person who received the piece of paper or the, or the check will go to his own bank, right, to cash out the money into his account and then he can use uh, that cash, right? So check is basically a piece of instruction, right? Uh, and again, uh, 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 is people is not be happy still with the check, right? Because if you think that you can only cash out the check during the working hours, right? What if you want to use something at night, right? Uh, or, or, or like when when on the over the weekend, right? So you cannot do that. You cannot you cannot just cash out the cat the cash anywhere, right? Uh, it will take some days right, as well, right? So let's say if you cash, if you deposit your cash, now they have the machine deposit, right? If you go to any branch, uh, you you they, they provide the the the, the machines uh, that where you can just deposit the, the the check that you don't have to queue and over the counter and and what and whatnot, right? So, but it will take this, right? Because they, the banks need to do com confirmation. Like, and there's, there's a lot of process there, right? So it will take this. Again, it is not efficient, right? So people will innovate, right? Will will we to become more efficient, right? And then there will be a cost as well, right? 
you have to incur if you want to issue the check because it's an instruction to the banks because bank incur costs as well right to 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 complete the transaction and everything and to issue the book check right? it's the piece of paper has a, has some value as well so although the, the the fees is quite minimal right again people are not happy right so people are innovating right people innovate to another things this is what we call as the electronic payment do i have time i have time right i have like 20 minutes more all right so now people are saying that we don't need that piece of paper anymore as instruction right uh this is the this is the time of this is the emergence of electronic banking right uh, so we have uh, it started from from mobile uh, bank. If you if you look at the you can Google right you, you can Google the evolution of banking right. So it started from uh, phone banking right mobile banking. I don't think I don't think we have that they have that experience now. But maybe our father our late grandfather have that uh, opportunity at that time to use this uh, mobile banking right. So uh, you can just ring. Uh, to your bank, right? Give your details and particulars. They will verify that that is you, right? Who is giving the instruction to to pay to certain uh, party, right? So after they do the verification, then this bank will do the uh, will complete the, the the transfer, right? So meaning that you don't need this piece of paper anymore, right? And then you don't have to travel to the branches. So be so people become more uh, effective now, right? Efficient now. And people are still not happy, right? People are moving to what we call as the internet banking, right? With the emergence of this, uh, at that time, we have this, uh, this uh, uh, IT industry is growing up, right? If you can read about that. That's an interesting book, uh, but uh, if, you, if you are interested, I can... I can uh, Oh, no, this is my Twitter, right? So where is my, right? This is one interesting book that I will really recommend you to, to read. I finished the book quite fast because th it's very interesting. Thank you for being late. Have you heard of this book? By Thomas uh, Friedman. If you have the opportunity, you can, you can uh, read this. Thomas Friedman is not an economist. He's a columnist. He's a he's a he's a writer, right? I think he's one of the he's one of the famous one, right? So he write about the evolutions of uh, of of this um, uh, IT industry alongside with uh, the financial industry, right? So then he will explain that how this IT industry is growing very fast, right? Uh, uh, in terms of the, the the storage of the data, the trans the, the 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 transmission of the information, so that it'll create the spillover to other industry. The spillover that he was discussing is the spillover to the financial industry, the financial sectors, right? Uh, so so that we can have the benefits of, uh, for example, the internet banking that that we have in now, right? So everyone can just have uh, do a transaction. You can imagine those time, uh, our 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 parents' time, right? They have to go to the branches. They have to go queue to open an account, right? To do a transfer. So nowadays, people can do just using your mobile, right? It's a different kind of mobile that we discussed through phone uh, earlier. So this mobile is basically you have a you have a control of your accounts. Uh, remotely, right? So meaning that if you want to as to transfer to any other party, if you want to, even now, if you want to open a fixed uh, deposit account, right? Although some some bank doesn't have that 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 that, that ability yet. For example, uh, I want to open a fixed account, a fixed deposit account with Bank Islam. Right? So they are less efficient than other banks. So if you want to open a deposit, fixed deposit account uh, at Bank Islam, you still have to go to branch today. So I was so pissed off that day, right? So, so if I want to, even if I want to withdraw the 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 the, the, the deposit, the fixed deposit amount, I still have to go to to the branch. I think they give me some. Uh, I don't have it here. They give me kind of like certificates, right? Saying that oh, they, you have deposited certain amount. 
But if you go to bigger banks, like let's say, for example, Maybank, so you can open the, the fixed deposit account through the internet banking, right? You don't have to go to, to branch anymore. So you will see that certain uh, banks are very uh, ad adoptive, right? They're very efficient in, in terms of uh, uh, adopting this kind of new technology, right? But some banks are just uh, quite, uh, you know, it will be there, but but not slowly, right? So so that's so different different approach, right? Even for Bank Islam, I don't think they have the. Do they have the 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 mobile apps yet? I'm not sure, right? But but uh, banks like Maybank, CIMB, they have these uh, mobile apps for quite uh, sometimes already, right? And uh, but one thing that if you don't realize is that. Uh, but actually, the, the, the mechanism that they use for this uh, online banking or internet banking, uh, they, they very much utilize this uh, facility we call as the electronic funds transfer. But before we move to that internet banking, uh, one thing that, that you should be aware of is that now we have this kind of uh, debit card, right? Before this debit card, you can only use at certain places, right? But nowadays, you can see that a lot of uh, merchant uh, merchants, right, uh, or a lot of shops already have that this kind of, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, they call it. I think F E F T, right? This F T, F post uh, uh, facility, right? Some country adopted quite late, right? So I think when I was studying in New Zealand, I think. Uh, at that time, Malaysia has not has ha, hadn't uh, have this kind of uh, AFT yet, right? But some countries are very uh, fast in terms of this uh, adopting this innovative uh, financial uh, system, right? So one of the application of this EFT electronic funds transfer is the is the debit card or the credit card that we have, right? Because by by having that uh, credit card or a debit card, you can just go to to the to the merchants and you can just swipe, right? You know, people use swipe. Now. You don't even have to key in the code anymore, right? That's why I say that people are becoming more lazy and lazy nowadays because they because what they can rely on this kind of uh, technology, right? They can rely on this kind of innovation. So. And if you can think about the ATM itself, they use this electronic fund transfer, right? Uh, you have a, a SWIFT payment, right? Uh, I think for those international students, you use this kind of facilities, if I'm not mistaken, right? If let's say, let's say if Mahmoud want to transfer the money to Malaysia when he was, where are you from, Mahmoud? Where are you from? Where, where you from? Nigeria. Yeah. So when when Mahmoud was in Nigeria, through through TNT. Oh, so you did use this, huh? Swift. Yeah. So Swift is like is like uh, identification for banks in in different country, right? So it's, it the function is to facilitate the cross border transaction, right? I use it before when I want to pay the fees for my university's fees, uh, registration fee, uh, before I departed to from Malaysia to New Zealand right so they require me to pay some amount of uh, money uh, so so every branch in every country sorry not every branch uh, yeah every bank not every branch every bank at a different country have this swift code right the code is just to identify which bank that you are you are supposed to transfer the money to right so and then you see the 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 the, the news uh, recently the U.S. has uh, put a sanctions on Russian bank, right? So meaning that they 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 clear out all the SWIFT code from uh, the Russian banks, right? So so by by removing those SWIFT code from the system for the for the from the current uh, uh, fund transfer system that they have, I don't know what what kind of fund transfer system that they have in the U.S. So they remove the SWIFT code from their system to what to so that people cannot transfer the money to Russia, right? So by doing that, they will be thinking that the the Russia will be badly affected because no money will be coming in, right? And then no money will be coming out outside the country. 
So what do you think happened to the currency, the, the Russian currency? I don't know what what kind of currency currency they use. Huh? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure the name of the currency. So what? The so, ruble. What's the name? Ruble. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. So so what do you think what will happen to that currency when you don't when people who own the currency cannot transfer out the money to other places and cannot receive the money from other countries, right? So by doing that, US was thinking that, you know, this is this is how we going to, you know, uh, uh, react to what they have done to the Ukraine, right? So that they, their economy will be affected by, by the, by the, by the sanction, right? By the financial sanction. This is what we call as financial financial sanction, right? You have other type of sanction as well. Uh, you have a, a, any form of a form of economic sanctions, right? Uh, where where those uh, it was funny. I think I, I read this news that people are queuing up in Russia to buy the the double cheeseburger uh, in uh, because the 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 McD the McDonald uh, branches was closing there, right? Because because you know that the, there is a a noise. At the in the background, the noise. All right. How yeah. about now? How about now? Now it's good. Oh, okay. All right. So people are selling this double cheeseburger in the black market, right? Because you you cannot get that 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 opportunity to buy that that uh, the burger anymore, right? <laughs> in the, in the in the normal uh, restaurant because. Because the every this uh, international brand is closing down, right? You see that the the economy is is something else. Right? But my theory is that they will the the government will have some uh, exit strategy, of course, right? They will not decide they will not decide to go into war if they are not expecting this kind of sanction by other country. They are well prepared, right? Whether the, the 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 impact will be uh, temporary or or a bit long term, that's a different question, right? But that's how you see that uh, by through all these electronic payments and and what whatsoever, the the current financial system that we have globally is very interconnected, right? So you can easily influence the financial system. Of other country, if you choose to, if you are very powerful, like like the U.S. financial system, uh, fi financial industry, right? They have they have so many uh, operation in other country. In Malaysia, we have Bank of America, right? Although they are not very active in retail banking, they they are active in the investment uh, uh, side. So you will see that they can have some some influence over the country that where they have their operation at, right? So that's how people influence another through the financial activities, right? So that's a very, uh, that's a, I mean, in, in the time of crisis, that's quite a dangerous, right? So, yeah, so that's one of the things that we need to be concerned about. And then we have this uh, automated clearing house, right? It's slightly different from the EFTs, right? Because EFTs, you need, uh, 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 instruction, right, from the user, like from the, the from the account holder, for example, right. If I want to transfer the money, I need to instruct the bank whether using the mobile apps or or internet banking, uh, whatever. So there will be need uh, verification and and also uh, instruction come from me as a deposit as a deposit account holder, right. But what we have in the uh, automatic clearing house, usually those corporation or companies use this to pay their uh, employee salaries, right? Because of this transaction is recurring every month, right? So it's not efficient for the company to do that every, to give that instruction or to do that kind of paperwork uh, every month, give to the banks and then the bank will do the transaction. So this is what this is this is scattered. The is the automated clearing house is scattered for the recurring transaction, like the payment of a salary, right? Sometimes if you subscribe to certain services, right? If I now I'm paying uh, uh, time for my internet home uh, services, right? 
So it, so they have this facility that asked me that that they can uh, automatically deduct the amount from my deposit account. So I don't have to log in to my account and then pay every month. So it will be automatically deducted from my deposit um, or bank account, right? So this is this kind of system that that use uh, automatic clearing house. You you also have the same features for when you're paying insurance, right? Or you pay takaful. They, they, they will be automatically deducted from your bank account, right? Because of what? Because of they need to be... Again, the discussion come... The, the benefit will will uh, come from the from the efficiency, right? But having more efficient uh, transaction, people will you know do more transaction in the in the economy, right? So that's that's the that's the main uh, purpose of this all this financial innovation, right? So that people can do more transaction than people. Are, Hence, people can improve their welfare, right? And then we have this. Do we have time? Oh, I have five minutes, right? Okay. All right. Uh, I don't want to go. Uh, there's a there's a long discussion about this digital. Uh, set. So why not we continue? Because you you know that there's a two different thing, right? So perhaps this is a just teaser, right? So in the next class, we will discuss about the difference between this. Electronic payment, or not payment, uh, maybe we put in general, right? Uh, electron, uh, sorry, electronic banking versus digital banking, or payment, right? Electronic payment versus digital payment. Sometimes we think that they are the same, right? But but they are different in, in to to certain extent, right? So in the next class, we will continue with the discussion of this. Perhaps in the when we when we until we meet uh, uh, next week, which is going to be in uh, Ramadan time. Perhaps you can do some reading about this first, right? Before you come to class, and then we can uh, discuss more about this. The, what is the difference between electronic banking? and digital payment. Electronic banking, we have seen in the case of EFT and also ACH just now, right? When you have a debit card, credit card, internet banking, and so on. So how does it differ from the idea of dig digitalization, right? Digitalization of finance here. So we're going to discuss that in the next coming class because if we, if we start now, we're not going to finish in five or ten minutes. It's quite a lengthy discussion here. Perhaps you can do your own reading first, right? I, I give a clue that they both of them are different, right? So you go do and your your own reading to see what what are, what are the difference between these two, right? Electronic banking or electronic payment versus digital banking or digital payment, right? Can we do that? We continue in the next uh, class, right? I think we can stop now because it's already nine. Any question so far that you want to ask? So we stop at uh, electronic bank, electronic payment, electronic money, right? And we're going to continue after this when you look at the digital money like Bitcoin and, and whatnot. Okay. Any question so far? Before I stop, before we stop here. And doctor, now, yeah. is it possible for us to start before five, before five, the next class? Because we'll if start. we start at uh, five, yeah. we'll start seven that right? And seven that is already time for Salah. Oh, it's already time for Salah. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, let me ask Amira. Is it Amira? Is it uh, before five? Let's say four thirty is too early for you. It's too early for me. But like I said before, it's okay. I can rewatch the recording and also read by myself. And if I don't understand, I will get to you. Okay. Lah. Okay. All right. 
So can we, anyone, everyone agree with 4.30? We can start at 4.30. So if you if you don't for understand of or anything you can always uh, text me yeah Mira I I will provide you one to one uh uh discussion right okay thank you so can we start at four thirty everyone else anyone have a, a objection or anything so doctor when we start at four four thirty when are we going to to end. So let's say if uh, if uh, we start at four thirty, we can uh, we can finish at seven, yeah. right? Uh, Sundus, right? Yes. So we can uh, finish at seven, and then the maghrib or the breakfast time around seven twenty to seven thirty, right? So you have uh, twenty to thirty minutes to get ready for the prayers and also for breakfast. Okay, okay, that's good. Is that good? Is that okay? All right. Yeah. So we can do that. We can do that, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, doctor, yes. The, the, yeah. the next class will be face to face. No, uh, the next class only face to face for only only for. Only, only for only for business, mathematics, and statistics. Because because this oh, class, okay. yeah, yeah, because yeah. this this class we keep for online until uh, Ramadan. After Ramadan, then you we can start uh, physical for 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 money and banking. But for for but for business, yeah. ma okay. mathematics, and statistics, uh, we start uh, physical next week. Uh, no, is it next week? Uh, I think next week, yeah. But let me confirm with the 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 the, the booking of the classroom first, right? But but as I as we agree for business mathematics and statistics will be in the morning, right? Nine from nine uh until uh twelve. Is it nine? Yeah, no, nine until eleven thirty, right? We don't need a break, right? We cannot eat or whatever. <laughs> so we just continue. Okay, everyone? Yeah, it is okay. All right. Uh, Nias, are you okay with that arrangement, Nias? Uh, initially, I want to say that uh, after Ramadan, it will be uh, physical class. Yeah, for after Ramadan, it will be physical class for this money and banking. <laughs> Probably after a couple of weeks, I will return to my country. So it will not oh. be possible for me for attending the physical class. Oh, oh, it's okay. I can I can do hybrid. Yes, thank you. Thank uh, I can have this uh, Microsoft team, Microsoft team with me, and then, and then I uh, I can have this. Uh, then for the rest, they can join uh, physical. Okay, right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. When when are you leaving? Uh, yes. When may I know when you leaving? When is uh, the probably by the second week of uh, April, inshallah. I booked the ticket on fifteenth of April, inshallah. Okay, all right. So don't worry. We we will make sure that everyone have the access to to the class. Either either if you cannot attend uh, physically, you can you can still follow through uh, virtual this uh, Microsoft team. So Thank don't worry. Thank you. Okay, all right. So can we end uh, here now? And if you not, if you don't have any other question, okay. So let me stop the recording. Let me stop the recording, right? Uh, sorry for sorry for the background noise.